I'm Heather McKinney. I'm founder of McKinney York Architects in Austin, Texas. I'm Michelle Rosamondo, president of McKinney York Architects in Austin, Texas. We've found a lot of times people will say to us when they're coming into the firm, when they're interviewing, or even when they're leaving the firm, they say, we were attracted to your firm in the beginning because you were a woman leader and because that made us feel like there would be a place for us. And that's not always from women that we are hearing that. And we're hearing it from a wide range of people that they just thought maybe indicated that we were more open, more open to advancement of a wide variety of people. Through our strategic plan, we identified that we wanted to do a firm-wide survey of what people really were looking for. And what came out of that was the idea that transparency was really needed. The firm leaders felt that we really had a mission and a value system set up to be socially just and equitable, but some of the things we were doing in the firm weren't transparent to the rest of the staff as well as to the outside world. So there was a consensus that we form a committee and people self-select to serve on that committee and come up with an idea of how we would go about sharing with our staff and the outside world how we were doing, how we were judging ourselves, grading ourselves in terms of social justice and equity. I think one of the most successful things that we do in our office as a whole is to help people grow in their in their career advancement, which is everybody, and to meet them where they are in that process. And we have something that we've uh, had for a long time called MYU, which is McKinney York University. And we produce these amazing one-hour programs on all kinds of things that people need to learn how to do to become proficient architects. We also have a lot of in-house opportunities and ongoing efforts to include voices. We run a weekly or every other week event called Design Flex where uh, uh, various project managers present their projects and everyone is included in the critique of it. We have lots of opportunities like that to make sure that it's first and foremost voices are heard within the office and we're sharing that collaborative spirit on a day-to-day -day basis. The people that have been in the firm for a long time have been there because they've been happy. And I think that that also is uh, a good way for people to be able to come into the firm and say, oh, this isn't static, that uh, leaders are being grown here, they're being given opportunity, they're really being encouraged. And I think that with every project, when you kind of push somebody into the deep end and they're uncomfortable and we say, you know, if you're not feeling uncomfortable on a pretty regular basis in the challenges that you have with your project, you're not growing. You know, you just, you know, that's going to be a feeling that you're going to get comfortable having is being uncomfortable because that's when you're stretching, that's when you're learning. One way that we promote opportunity in the firm is by starting a dialogue with everyone about what do they want today, tomorrow, in the future for their career, for their interest in architecture, for their life outside of work. And one of the most important ways we do that is to ask them, what kind of projects do you want to work on? And by starting there, we really endeavor to put people on projects from beginning to end and expose them to the full life of a project as early as possible and as late as possible. So they really grow into that deeper understanding of architecture and how a building gets built. 